Stole rats. Hey guys, I don't know if I've posted the video about putting the Shock Monster gear on my Kit Fox 5 yet, but when Tony came up to help me with that project, uh, he delivered something else. And then these gear legs are beefy. Look at that front support tube. That's your uh, right gear leg, axles, custom spacers on there, it's going to look good. So there it is. And before anyone writes in the comments, no, those are not the final size tires, those are just the shop tires. I limited to these tires here in the shop just for clearance, uh, getting it out of the garage. So uh, that's the way it sits right now. There is some changes we have to do. Um, this back bracket, we're gonna make some adjustments there. And um, I think that's about it. We got all the bolts figured out. Um, I didn't do any real tutorial on putting this gear on because it's pretty straightforward. The Kit Fox brackets here and back the back one. You mount up your brackets there, the gear leg goes in, comes down, the axle connects to that. And then the shock is connected up to, this is called the cabane, and that mounts from the left side to the right side front gear bracket. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, that's a quick update. Gear is here. It's, it's in rolling mode. It does move. <laughs> I've got a delivery coming on Thursday that I will uh, film that you guys will be surprised about. So, um, <laughs> my wife was certainly surprised about it. My dad's going to show up with, with a special delivery. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, this isn't deja vu. There's yet another Penske truck parked in my driveway. Let's come take a look. So, another kit box in here. This one's seen a little bit better days. But the uh, there's one wing that's perfect. This is the damage to the other one. Although it is repairable. So that's one reason I picked it up is the modifications I want to do to the wing. I didn't want to do the brand new wing. So these ones will become the test bed for the cuff, slats, whatever I end up doing to it. That's what these wings are going to be for. And I got a good one here and a repairable one over here. Got a spare windshield in this box here. Fuselage from the baggage compartment back is in perfect shape, but forward to that, not so good. You can see it's uh, pretty bent up in here. Uh, it's bent up on top, carry through spars bent, down tubes bent. So uh, this is repairable, uh, but not sure if that's something I'm going to tackle or not. Maybe down the road once all the other projects are done. We'll see. Uh, but it does have a cowling. Uh, put that in the garage already. We've got a cowling, radiator, an engine mount for a Rotax, which would be really great to work off of for um, the Yamaha Apex mount. So let me hop down. I'll take you inside and show you what I've got. All right, I couldn't resist already mocking up the boot cow. So it's on there. I threw the Rotex engine mount on just to kind of take a look at how we might be able to adapt that to the Apex motor. If I come up with some sub mount that hooked into the same points like the ring does on the Rotex, but do that on the Apex, boy, that would be a lot easier uh, to do conversions for people. And uh, this is such a strong engine mount the way it sits that I think that would be a really good base for it. But I have no idea if that's going to work out lengthwise, heightwise. So that's just a, a thought. Um, got the upper cowling here. Got the boot cow, and then the bottom cow. Bottom cow is pretty pretty beat up, <clears throat> but it is also repairable. Um, I have some experience doing fiberglass repair, so we'll get that all repaired up and 
I will use this cowl to start with. It may not be the final cowling, but to get everything to fit in here for the apex, instead of cutting up a brand new cowling, this was just a better option. There is a radiator. I think it's just your standard Rotex 912 radiator. It's got some damage to it. So, you know, I don't know that's any good, but it certainly will help for doing the mock-up. So, you know, as you guys know, the Nasa scoop, I'm pronouncing that right, on the um, cowling here, that ducting goes into where the radiator is mounted on, on the underneath side of a 912. So if we can fit this apex high enough, we can put that radiator in the same place. I've got a radiator already that I can put in there, mount all up, make everything fit right, figure out the brackets for the mounting and everything. And if that radiator turns out to be no good, at least I know I could order a new one and it will fit to how I mock it up. So got all that. And then after making the trip all the way out to Idaho, just to get, it ended up being just to get a firewall really. Talked to some people and learned a lot had a good time but I went all the way up there to get this firewall from Kid Fox and this plane I just bought came with one too so I have now two firewalls what else we got oh the other surprise and this will actually save me a lot of time is the tail fairing pieces Show you what I mean here. These go right here. And they are all made up already in the wrong color, but pretty easy to strip paint off. And uh, they're all drilled and ready to go. So those tear, tail fairings, that is a couple day job. So um, I'll just take the holes that are in those ones and drill them in and put the uh, backing plates in and we'll be good to go on that. Good morning guys, another day on the build. Uh, as you saw previously, I picked up a third Kit Fox that had been wrecked from Washington. Um, mostly to get the cowling, and there are other parts that I want to use for, for some experimenting down the road. But the cowling was pretty beat up. Uh, here's the, the bottom cowling. There's some pretty good uh, cracks and spots in it. So what I've done is, Sand it down through all the damaged areas, and then I'm gonna go ahead and glass it back up from the inside first. Then I'll sand through the outside, and then glass up the outside and try to get a nice finish. Um, now, you may be wondering why I'd wanna put an old damaged cowling on this. Uh, to make it fit on the Yamaha, I may have to do some cutting and some modification. So I figured I'd start with an old beat up cowling and once I get it all right, if I can get this cowling where it's uh, repaired nicely, then I'll probably use it for a while. Uh, but the final goal is to some, somewhere down the road end up with a carbon cowl uh, all done up for the front. So instead of shelling out the money on a carbon and, and cutting on it and messing with it to fit the apex, I'm going to start with this one and uh, at least do the mock-up, if not the initial flight testing with, with this cowling. So that being said, there's a lot of work to do on it, so that's my project for today, so I'm going to get after it. Alright, so coming along with the fiberglass repair, all the cracks are now um, repaired from the inside of the cowling. Just waiting for the fiberglass to dry. And if you guys haven't done this before, I'm not going to give a tutorial really on how to do fiberglass work. There's tons of those already on YouTube, so I'm not going to take the time to do that. But uh, I'm using epoxy resin from West Systems and some uh, uh, chop strand. That's this stuff right here. Glass, just kind of peel it apart and get the size. You want to rip it apart, get the size you want to go over your cracks and uh, Make sure it's good and clean. Use acetone, clean it off. You wanna grind it first, but clean it off with acetone and lay in your chop strand with your epoxy resin. So uh, probably about a couple hours into this, there was, 
I don't know, maybe eight or nine cracks that were all the way through the, the uh, cowling. I think it's pretty, pretty bad shape, really. So uh, once that's done, then we'll start looking at the outside. I can see a crack right here. But most of the damage is up here in the front. And you can see I've got it all taped off. So that's pretty ugly right now. Um, I will be sanding the outside and then grinding back into the new layer and putting a layer on the outside. Uh, there won't be a gel coat on it, so I'll finish it off. Um, the outside layer, I will use micro balloons so it's easier to sand. And then all the finish work will be done with Superfill. So I uh, should get it so it will look good with paint on it, I hope. And uh, it will actually probably save me time in the long run because everything's already cut to shape uh, to fit the uh, small seven so you know all the uh, nut plates are on or actually these are the Zeus fastener style but um, should get it hopefully the top or the bottom piece and then start working on the other two uh, today uh, flip this over and start working on the sanding on the outside so that's where I'm at now All right, I want to give a little progress report on the cowling that I picked up off the uh, the Crash Model 7. This is uh, the bottom cowl repaired now. Uh, I just put some sandable filler on it, so I need to do you know the final sands before paint. Um, but the uh, all the damage has been repaired. All right, here's the inside. So a lot of fill was put in around these cracks. Kind of see through it a little bit where it's clear through the epoxy resin. Uh, but super strong repair. Uh, the outside has got a pretty good um, finish to it now. There's a lot of sanding. It's taken a much longer than I had hoped it would. But uh, now I have a cowling. So, um, Next, I'm going to finish up the top cowling. has got some uh, more body work to do on it. I've uh, got all the glass repairs on that corner done. I've uh, got looks like one to do here. I've got one to do here. And this one over here. And then that one will be uh, ready to do the body work on as well. So... Now that I've finished that, uh, it's time to put the fuselage away and start working on the, uh, the wings over there. So we're moving on to these here. I'm gonna be cleaning up the shop and get these out and uh, start going over what needs to be done on the wings. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here and leave you with a little preview of my next flying video when I'm out testing the new gear on the Kit Fox 5.